Hi, this is Mark with ReadyToBuyHomes.org. We hope that you enjoy this video series and that it brings good content and good information to you in order to make a decision if you're facing foreclosure. So please, sit back, enjoy, and if you do have questions at any time, you can email us at info at readytobuyhomes.org. We'll see you soon. So here are the topics covered. What are the options to avoid a foreclosure? What is a short sale? Why would a lender agree to a short sale? What are the first steps to a short sale? And then how to stop a foreclosure? So what are the options to a foreclosure? We've basically got five. The first one is a forbearance, a refinance of mortgage, a loan modification, an outright sale of the home, and a short sale. So option one is a forbearance. A forbearance is a special agreement between the lender and the borrower in order to delay a foreclosure. So the lender delays his right to exercise a foreclosure if the borrower could catch up his payment schedule in a certain amount of time. Okay, we've got option number two here, which is called the loan modification. And these are when mortgages are modified to benefit the borrower in one of the more following ways. A reduction in interest rate or a change from the floating to a fixed rate or in how the floating rate is computed. The next one is reduction in principal or a reduction in late fees or other penalties. Number four, a lengthening of the loan term. And last, capping the monthly payment to a percentage of household income. So option number three is an outright sale of the home and this approach is your traditional sale of the property. This is the cleanest way to sell your property and you will have the normal expenses including the co closing costs, taxes, HOA dues, and real estate commissions. ReadyToBuyHomes.org provides other options to the traditional approach. Okay, so we've got option number four which is the short sale. And a short sale is a transaction where two unique events occur together. First, a net proceed loss. This is when the short sale occurs when net proceeds of the short of the sale are insufficient to cover the mortgage balance. And then number two is the lender agreement. The lender agrees and releases its mortgage liens and note obligations on the home in exchange for payment less than full on the loan balances. And so why would a lender agree to a short sale? Well, reason one is financial impact is less compared to that of a, sh of a foreclosure. The discounted payoff of a short sale must be less than the lender's cost to foreclose, such as legal fees, title, closing of property, uh, holding costs, maintenance costs, commissions, and marketing costs. So what is the second reason for the lenders agreeing to a short sale? Well, the seller must prove distress, uh, showing you know defaulted mortgages, documentation of that distress, um, a firm sale which generates insufficient proceeds, a seller receives no proceeds from the sale, and the seller provides current comparables to support uh, the sales price. So why would a seller agree to a short sale? Well, the potential seller benefits would be you may have less impact on your, your credit as a seller. The lender may stop reporting late payments. You can provide more time for you to take action and take care of this problem. And you may buy another home sooner as compared to going through a foreclosure. And that's probably the biggest benefit of why people would do a short sale. This next slide is a seller's checklist for a short sale. And all of these items listed will be items that you will need to submit to the bank. One of the things that you may not need to submit is the IRS tax returns, but I would still get those ready. And of course, uh, you may not need the um, divorce decree. They may ask for that, but uh, most likely they won't. And so what are the first steps to a successful short sale? Well, our role in it Ready to Buy Homes, we are a real estate investment firm, so we cannot give you legal or financial advice and our firm strongly recommends hiring an attorney to talk with your to talk with your CPA as a short sale should be a last resort to avoid foreclosure. 
We can only explain what we've seen with previous clients and short sale outcomes and implement our proven system. So uh, that's more like a disclaimer. Wanted to let you know that you need to seek legal and tax advice. So finally, how to stop a foreclosure. The first thing you want to do is take action. Take action and don't ignore the mail that comes in or nor the phone calls. Next, find out the options that make sense for you. We've talked about forbearance, loan modification, which also may be like a refinance of your mortgage. We've also talked about an outright sale of your home and we've talked about a short sale. Seek legal counsel from an attorney and or CPA and then call us ready to buy homes at 720-207-6421 and we will talk directly with your bank and we'll make an offer to your bank and find out find an end buyer find out if they are willing to do a short sale and uh, based upon our track record and what we've been able to do we can save your credit from foreclosure there's no cost or obligation to you and in some cases we may be able to keep you in your home that's right you may be able to stay in your home depending on our negotiations with your lender. We also have ways to give you cash rewards in some cities for allowing us to help you where other people in the short sale business cannot. So that's the end of this video, video number one on uh, your short sale options. And so coming soon is your next video which is called Short Sales and the Deficiency Judgment and uh, that's going to be a really good one because uh, we're going to talk about the biggest question that most people have and that's how is this going to affect me how is this short sale going to affect me personally so if you have questions or comments you can visit us at www.readytobuyhomes.org forward slash blog or you can call us at 720-207-6421 thanks for taking the time today and we'll see you in the next video